happens when you're managing chaos? Huh? There's chaos out there. Remain flexible. That's how you manage chaos. <laughs> so the minute you are unflexible, you are doomed. So you are managing between those two points. Who cares? You're going away for a weekend, just give them three panics. Who cares? It doesn't have to happen every day. Don't sit in the pub. Don't sit in the bar. Talk to the old timers. Ask them. Because they have an idea. No, but then you said, okay, free range grazing, but there's sometimes, what, how long do you think it takes for grass in this environment of ours to recover? And he will say, well, and then tell you a long story, and he'll say, me, before he gets. And then and that's what you start with, so it doesn't yeah, matter what you start with. Because it's that's just a tansak. It's a closer it's your tansak is to reality, the quicker you're going to get it. Just a bit more time. One thing is to set it. And it's perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah, take care of the set. Sure, another transition question. So you said take a sample of the grass, send it off, get it analyzed. And the next Thing, also take a pH reading of the urine off of the blade of grass sampling to get the pH assessment of the bird. And then after that, based on what your grass is and what your pH reading is, you can decide kind of what the next step is with minerals. And Before spending any money, I would just do this. Yeah. Put the cattle in, move them, until you've been around the whole property once. Okay. And then if you see things are changing, yay, and I'm getting excited, then you go again. And then after a year, have your grass tested. I don't want you to spend any money. Normally when people change, they have to change because they are down and out. Like me. Down and out. So I don't want you to spend any money. But when you've got money to spend, instead of paying the government, rather put it back in your property. You know, farmers, that's why they think we're stupid, because we don't pay any tax. But you're a fool if you're a farmer and you pay tax. Because there's so much you can get away with. But anyway, it's not good. You should click that off. <laughs> Started on a 30 day recovery period, and I'm going like a bang, and I've bought some cops, some cats that are terrible. So instead of having a 30 day recovery period, I put my cars behind at 12 days because it's lovely, lush, just short green grass. Magic. Who cares? As long as you know you're overgrazing, next time you give it a longer recovery period. There's nothing set in stone. You're managing cows. But as long as you're achieving what you want to achieve, it doesn't matter. As long as you know what you're doing. Because if you give it a longer recovery period, you'll achieve that irrespective. If you kill these roots off, as long as you don't kill a plant. Okay. Any more questions? Yes, sir. When you're setting up your, say you have one big pasture out of your 10 paddocks, you're deciding how to set up your 10 paddocks by the topography of your pasture. Uh, what are your factors deciding how how you're making your your Besides, And is it electric fencing you're using? Don't put any permanent fencing in. If you put nothing, don't put anything in. Right. <laughs> just have fun. Right. And when I say fun, get the kids just took the Take to the back of the kids and over all the head. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever they run, just go and put the brother in. I'm serious, that's how you do it. You can all go to the end As long as I got water, who cares? <laughs> you run all your ages together. So your finishers are there with your brood cows, or do you, are you big enough now that you have different age species so that you've got different? 
protein versus energy or yeah, we've got cow calf operations two different breeds. And we've got stockers and finishers together. And then we have a sell by herd. So we haven't got all our cattle in one herd, but the herds are getting bigger. Yes sir. What what about finishing? Do you do something I mean that's a that's a paradigm you explain for sounds like just day to day management. For the last 30, 60, 90 days, do you do something different? Do you, do you try to focus on one particular thing? Or? Well obviously if we're finishing animals and it's a time of the year where we've got excess protein, we will supplement those animals with something to bring the energy content up to get a pH of seven. So that the person who's buying those to slaughter will slaughter a sweet animal. Because obviously you want to return by. So there are supplements that you can give. And again, my favorite is the guy to talk to about that. We've got a product called Corner Post, which is a manufactured product and exceptionally high. It's got 28,000 joules per gram of energy. expensive but it works. Yes ma'am. Another thing you, you do is thousands of cows and everything, but for those of us that can't afford a lot of property that maybe only have 10 acres. Is that I mean, I'm, I'm just starting to try to do this with six cows. And I mean have you seen that work? Mm -hmm. Okay. The smaller you are the more success you're gonna have. Because the mistakes you made aren't that big. In Rappahannock County in Virginia, we were going around looking at people's herds. And one lot, we went into the center of town and I thought, see, this is going to be exciting. Went into the back garden and I had one Jersey cow. <laughs> the kids were involved and they milked the cow and they moved the grazing and they moved in three times a day. And they got enough milk to sell milk from that one Jersey cow, plus what the family drank. Yeah, it was an eye opener for me because here I'm used to thousands and I'm having to talk about one now. <laughs> <laughs> you a magnificent job. Except you're a Jersey cow. Any other questions?